Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got uh, this uh, quadrilateral ABCD inscribed in a circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this angle uh, BAD is uh, 114 degrees whereas uh, this uh, measurement of arc uh, CD is uh, 142 degrees. And the measurement of arc AB is 100 degrees. And now we are going to calculate these missing angles ABC and this BCD and then this ADC. And moreover, we are going to calculate this missing arc BC and this missing arc AD as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed any further, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's recall the cyclic uh, quadrilateral. If all the vertices of the quadrilateral uh, lies on the circle, as you can see in our uh, diagram, we can see A, B, C and D indeed uh, lie on the circle. No wonder this is our cyclic quadrilateral. And moreover, the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral have a total of 180 degrees. That means the sum of these two opposite angles must be equal to 180 degrees. If this angle is 114 degrees, this angle has got to be 60 six degrees since the sum of these two angles must be 180 degrees. So therefore our angle BCD turns out to be 66 degrees. And now let's recall another theorem. The angle subtended by an arc of a circle at its center is twice the angle it subtends anywhere on the circle's circumference. And now let's focus on our this angle at the circumference then the measurement of this arc BD is going to be twice of this much 66 times 2 is going to give us 132 degrees however we know that this measurement of this arc AB is 100 degrees so therefore the measurement of this uh, remaining arc uh, AD is going to be 132 minus 100 is going to give us uh, 32 degrees. So therefore the measurement of this arc uh, AD turns out to be 32 degrees. And now we know that this uh, whole uh, arc uh, around the circle uh, is uh, 360 degrees degrees and we know that this arc AB is 100 degrees this arc AD is 32 degrees and this arc CD is 142 degrees so therefore we can easily find out the measurement of this arc BC by adding those individual arcs and then subtract them from 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and simplify this thing. So we have 360 degrees minus if we add all these that is going to give us 274 and if we subtract this thing that is going to give us 86 degrees. So therefore the measurement of this arc BC turns out to be 86 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big arc. Uh, the measurement of this arc ABC is 100 plus 86. That is going to give us 186 degrees. And we can see that this arc subtends this angle at the circumference over here. If this angle is 186 degrees, then this angle has got to be half of this one. So this is going to be 93 degrees. So therefore, this angle ADC turns out to be 93 degrees. And here's our final step. We know that the sum of these two opposite uh, angles in this uh, cyclic uh, quadrilateral must be equal to 100 
and 80 degrees and if this angle is 93 degrees then this angle has got to be 80 7 degrees so thus our angle a b c turns out to be 87 degrees and here we figured out all of our missing angles and arcs and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye